Hello, welcome to the ArcQuiz extension. This first advanced framework extension is for all of you who develop architectural visualizations and similar applications. It provides tons of interesting new features like an ambience changer, viewports, a catalog and a shopping cart. Let me show you around a bit. Once you downloaded the ArcQuiz extension, it automatically appears in the engine as an extra content folder, which contains all the new files. By the way, the Aquas extension is not a standalone product. It is a separately purchasable expansion of the Advanced Framework Core and cannot be used without a copy of the Advanced Framework Core version 4.1 or higher. First, let's browse the folders for a moment. Here in our blueprints, you find the new UI elements, the bookmarked actor, widgets, and most importantly, the new components encapsulating the Aquas extension's most characteristic features. Here under Data Assets, you find the article Primary Data Asset, which we created especially for the ArcVis extension. Just a short hint regarding article data assets. They are not automatically added to the Asset Manager of the Unreal Engine. Therefore, you have to do it yourself before you build your project. Just open Project Settings, find the Asset Manager and enter a new entry with the um, corresponding information under Primary Asset Types to scan. If you are not familiar with this step, have a look at the introduction on primary data assets we released previously. You'll find the link in the description. With that said, we better get back on track. Here we included new meshes and materials for the bookmarks, new radial buttons and other new elements of the Aquas extension. For example, these beautiful radial button materials, which are my personal favorites. And last but not least, we also included a big examples folder with three custom-made maps, not counting a menu and traditional examples map, to show you what you can do with the new expansion. Let's have a peek at them. Here we are on the menu level, from which you can enter each of the three custom maps via this panel-based menu we took from the core. Let's start with the living room. Welcome to the living room map. We created this map with the aim to marry low performance demands with a highly polished surrounding materials and lighting. You can easily show this map on a mobile device like the Oculus Quest and it still looks beautiful. We also added tons of info windows and a shopping cart here. And one of my favorite features, the ambience changer, which completely switches the lighting and the mood of the room with just a button press. Want to see the other maps? Let's go then. We made it really easy to change levels in the Aquas extensions. For example, via this palette. Why not have a visit to the gallery next? Here we are in the gallery map. We tried to make this one as accommodating as possible for inexperienced users. Most interactions are gaze or presence based like this info windows and lights around here. And the movement we made as easy as possible with viewports that allow the player to visit every corner of the gallery. Now let me introduce you to the third and last example map. This map we created for everyone who wants a chance to furnish their dream room. The actors you can get from this catalog board at the wall, or you might open your personal user interface. Everything snaps handily on appropriate surfaces for easy replacement. Each actor for the empty room map we carefully created to provide you with tons of interaction possibilities and design choices. And that includes the walls and floor. And you can even tally up the cost in the shopping cart. By now, you should know your way around the Aquas extension and can start exploring all the features we created on your own. We try to make everything as straightforward as possible. Still, we will provide tutorial videos explaining each of the new features as soon as possible. See you there. Bye bye.